solving for percent increase and decrease. So we're going to start with this word problem. Amber got a raise. Her hourly wage increased from $8 to $9.50. What is the percent increase? So she's making more money now. So there's a formula we can use to figure this out. Um, formula looks like this. So to figure out the percent change, which in this case is a percent increase, we're going to take the amount of change and divide it or put it over the original amount. So um, the, the amount of change is essentially the greater value in this word problem, which is $9.50 here. And we subtract that from the lesser value, which is $8. So we find the amount of change that's just saying $9.50 minus $8. In this case, it'd be $1.50. And then we would put that over the original amount, which is $8, divide, and we can get the answer. So look something like this. If we want to go ahead and solve it, it was $9.50 minus $8 over 8 because that was the original amount and that's important because um, it's not always the smallest value it's just the original amount so we said we got a dollar fifty here we're gonna divide by 8 so we're gonna say what is a dollar fifty do this right over here so let's say what is a dollar fifty divided by 8 I'm gonna go ahead and bring the decimal point up and we can go and divide this thing out. 8 does not go into 1. It goes into 15 one time. We would get 8. Subtracting gets a 7. 7, 0 is 70. 8 goes 8 times into 70, and you get 64. 8 times 8 is 64. Subtracting here, we need to borrow. Um, I'd get a 6 and then bring down a 0, so I get 60. 8 goes into 67 times. It's kind of a long division here. Uh, 8 times 7 is neater 56. Running out of space, but we should get to the end. 50, 60 minus 56 is 4. Bring down a 0 is 40. And 8 goes evenly into 45 times, so we finally got our answer. It is 0.1875. Now, we don't want to do this. We want a percent change. So we need to turn this into a percent. Turning a decimal into a percent, you'll remember... We move the decimal point two places to the right, and this actually equals 18.75%. And we can actually just round this up. We don't necessarily need the decimal. The 7 would make this go up to 19%. So Amber here got a 19% raise on her salary, um, or hourly wage that is, at work. So let's try another one real quick. Price of a pair of shoes increased from $52 to $64. What is the percent increase? Um, again, we have our formula down at the bottom. So I'm going to write this down. Percent change. The amount of change, so that's our, lar our greater value, 64, minus our lesser value, which is 52, over the original amount. So shoes increased from, they started at 52, so that's our original amount. So now we can subtract and then divide by 52. 64 minus 52 at the top is 12. We're going to put that over 52, and then all we need to do here is divide this thing out and say what is 12, which I'm actually going to put 12.0, divided by 52. So we do this division. 52 obviously doesn't go into 1. It does not go into 12. It does go into 120 twice. Let me bring this decimal point up. Make sure you do that. It goes twice. That is 104. And then subtracting here would get me, I believe, 16. Bring down a 0 was 160. And 160 divided by 52, it goes in about 3 times, not quite, but uh, 52 times 3 would get you, I believe, 156. We get um, borrow here 40. Uh, and I'll end up with a zero here. I can actually stop. We're going to end up getting kind of a long decimal answer. I've worked it out previously. But because I have my two decimal places, 0.23, I can actually use this and say, um, because 52 would go into 40 zero times, and we get zero and get 400 and keep going. Um, I can turn this decimal into a percent, 
And this is essentially a 23% increase in the shoe price. Shoes went from $52 to 64 so now we have a 23% increase. So we can also do percent decrease, just like things can go up in price or in amount, they can decrease, they can go down. So David moved from a house that's 89 miles away, he started at 89, from his workplace to a house that's 51 miles away from his workplace. What is the percent decrease in the distance from his home to his workplace? We're still going to use the same formula. We do not change anything about that. So I write the information in. The amount of change, it's going to be $89. $89. It's 89 miles away from his workplace. Minus 51, which is where he is currently. So his distance is decreasing. And we put that over the original amount. The original amount is not the smaller amount always, it's the which where we started in our work problem. The original amount here is 89, because he was 89 miles away from his workplace. So that kind of changes things a little bit for us. So we do 89 minus 51, and we do this, I believe we should get 38, and we're going to put that over 89. And then all we need to do is divide 89 by 38. So I'll go ahead and set it up real quick. We'll do it a little faster here, but we'll do 89, I'm sorry, 38, what am I telling you guys? 38.0 divided by 89, top number inside always. So we're going to do our division. Decimal point comes up. 89 does not go into 3 or 38. It does go into 380, I think it's 4 times, 89 times 4 is 356, so that does work out. Subtracting here, 7, 10, I would get 24, and bringing down a 0, just like that. Um, 89 goes into 240, I believe it's just twice, we should get 2 here. Um, 89 times 2 gets you 178. I can continue. 240 minus 178 is 62. I'm kind of running out of space, but you'll see here if I get 62 with a 0, um, I'll end up getting a 7 here. Uh, 620 divided by 89 um, gets me a 6, really. So I'm going to get a 6, and then from there, I keep going, keep going, but I'm going to go ahead and stop and leave it where it is. So I'm just going to do this 0.426. If you have a decimal that keeps repeating, remember we can stop after we get um, two or three places here. So I have 426. Clean up that 6 a little bit. And remember, we can just turn this into the percent. 1, 2 is how that is. So it would be 42.6 or percent or round up on this 43 percent is what we could say. Is this an increase or a dec decrease? This is a decrease because he moved away. So we have decrease here, 43 percent decrease. So try this one on your own. Officer Brimbury wrote 16 tickets for traffic violations last week, but only 10 tickets this week. What is the percent decrease? So you can use your formula right here. Pause the video and work it out. Put your original, your amount of change, uh, the 16, minus the 10 over the original amount, solve it, and then unpause the video and see if you did it correctly. Go ahead. All right, so um, if you did this, uh, he wrote 16 tickets for traffic violations last week, but only 10 tickets this week. He started with 16 and then got to 10. That is a decrease. Um, so it's our percent decrease. 16 minus 10 is 6, and we put it over 16 because that's where we start. So um, 16 over 6, we're going to divide 6 by 16. I didn't do all the long division out here, but you should get 0.375, which is the decimal. And remember, we can turn this into a percent here. One, two spaces, I can get 37.5%. That would work. Or that 5 right there, we could round it up to 38% decrease when we solve. So either 37.5% or 38% decrease here in the amount of traffic violations.